Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, The Daily Trader. It is November 30th, and we are going to take a look at Palantir stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please still do your own research and make your own decisions. Okay, so Palantir, uh, your Palantir uh, was down 42 cents today, 1.99%. We close at $20.65. So what do we have here? We have a hard time breaking, breaking, I would say $21 for real and uh, also $21.20. So we have a little bit of a double resistance right here, but we are staying above uh, $20.56. The stock is really basically going sideways a little bit after all of this fall. Let's go back to, let's go to the one hour chart. So, uh, this ascending triangle that we have been following, which looked promising, it looked promising. I won't lie to you. It looked promising, but uh, yeah, we should never act on the promise. We should act with fact. And the fact is. That uh, $21.20 has not been broken. Let me make this a little bit clearer. This is an important resistance and this was an important support. So now we have, so we have broken outside of this ascending triangle. Are we going to come back into it? Maybe not. I don't know. It's pretty sad because things were going pretty good. So our stochastic was above the 60 on the one hour chart. We had buying pressure. So things were going quite well. But what happened today is that we had a big red candle. And then uh, second hour, we pulled back up. So we had some buying pressure on the second hour. So that helped a lot. So uh, it seems like the stock does not want to go lower than, let me see, lower than $20. So $20, I would say, just to be almost precise. So $20 is a point where people came in. So some people don't want the stock to be below 20 bucks. And then the third hour, fourth, fifth, and sixth, we came back up slowly. Okay, so we'll need to accept that as fact. So nothing will happen here, and this should be green. So nothing will really happen here until we cross 2120. And if we break lower than 2010, then, and let me write it down. So 2010 is the, is the support. So 2010 is the support that we need to like to take a look at. Then 2120 is the resistance. So anything in between, you can play just to have fun and make a little bit of money. But the bigger moves will come when these two trend lines, when either one of these two trend lines are crossed. Briefly taking a look at the indicator, the uh, indices here. So indices, the Dow Jones, Dow Jones going down. It's going down and look at stochastic S and P 500 just touched on this support, important support. So maybe this is what is affecting our stocks. NASDAQ 100 getting close to the resistance again here. So they all look like they want to cave in. We should keep an eye on that a little bit also, because this might be influencing uh, our Palantir and Tesla stocks. So there you have it, 2010 and 2120 are the two numbers that you need to keep in mind. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. You can become a YouTube member. You can click on my trading view affiliate link. I think that the Cyber Monday 60% off is still on. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.